college commencement now begins. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. Now to my right, 
Professor Joanna Jackson. Senior <laughs> Trustee Rowan Gilka. <laughs> Trustee Debbie Moma. <laughs> Trustee Mark Letta. <laughs> Trustee John Redden. Trustee Betsy Vicenzio. <laughs> Professor Julie Hansen. <laughs> Alumni President Sue Hager. <laughs> Vice President for Institutional Advancement, Stephen Frederick. <laughs> Valedictorian Amelia Chapin. Salutatorian Dylan Wood. <laughs> Faculty Greeter, Dr. Denise Cotton. <laughs> Board of Trustee Chairperson, David Favreau. <laughs> In the audience, videotaping this tonight's ceremony is Legislator Calvin Castile. Approximately 100 graduates are eligible to receive their degrees today from the 23-24 class. 25 students graduated summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude. Phi Theta Kappa is an international honorary society of two-year colleges whose hallmarks are leadership, scholarship, fellowship, and service. Graduating Phi Theta Kappa Honor Phi Theta Kappa Honorary Society members wear gold tassels. Graduating chapter officers also wear blue and gold cords along with the gold stole embroidered with the PTK emblem. Graduates wearing gold cords and honors medallions are honors program graduates. A number of our graduates today are actively serving in the reserves, the National Guard, or veterans of the United States Armed Services. We thank you all for your service to our country. <laughs> Dear graduates, I'm really delighted to share my thoughts with you today on this very special, exciting, and awesome day. I mean, who can argue with the beautiful weather we got for this very special day? I would like to start my presentation by acknowledging and honoring the original caretakers of the land on which our campus is located. We pay respect to the Haganushani, past and present, who inhabited and nurtured this land for thousands of years. And we honor the land itself, which remains sacred to the Haganushani. We must do the same to nurture and protect this sacred land, especially at a time when our earth is suffering from degradation in so many ways. This acknowledgement that I offer is a tiny fraction of what must be done to counter and correct the stories and practices that erase indigenous people's history and culture and toward inviting and honoring the truth. Now to our graduates. Not too long ago, we made a very meaningful decision to attend Clinton Community College. You began your journey here with some mix of anticipation, anxiety, enthusiasm, uncertainty, and excitement. And during your journey, you probably had its moments of frustration, disappointment, and maybe even some doubt about continuing your journey. But you persisted through it all, and you got to your destination. This is a testament to your determination, your strength of character, and your passion for learning or pursuing your academic aspirations. You are here and you made it. Be proud of your achievements, especially the one we're celebrating today. All of us here at Clinton Community College are very proud of you. Cherish the good times you had during your journey with us. And when you have an opportunity, please talk up your good experiences here at this very special college with your friends, work colleagues, and family members. 
A very meaningful and special culmination of your journey is receiving your diploma. Many people see the diploma that you're going to get and program the academic degree that you earn as, a credential, as credentials for employment and continued study. And that's, that's true. But your diploma is much, much more than that. Your diploma reflects all your hard work, your success in overcoming challenges and difficulties that you encounter, your accomplishments and the knowledge and the wisdom you gain for which you should be very proud. Treat your diploma as a personal treasure because it reflects all that you've learned and experienced and nobody can take that away from you. In the future, whenever you face a difficulty or a challenge or are frustrated, doubtful about your capabilities, take your diploma, look at it, and reflect on what it represents, your successes and achievements. Use it to remind yourself that you have the strength and determination to meet and overcome challenges, difficulties, and frustrations that come with most human endeavors. As we all know, life has its share of struggles. But as the actor Chadwick Boseman once shared, whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. Challenges are what make life interesting, but overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. As we look ahead from this special day, I know that each of you can make a difference. And whatever path you take, try to make this world a better place because this world is really hurting. Bring some goodness and kindness into the world. Make it a better place than it is today. One person can make a difference. Robert Kennedy, former New York State Senator and brother of President John F. Kennedy, once said that it, it is from the numberless, diverse acts of courage and believe that human history is shaped. Each time a person stands up for an ideal or acts to improve the lot of others or strikes out against injustice, they send forth a tiny ripple of hope. And crossing each other from a million different centers of energy and daring, those ripples build a current that can sweep down the mightiest walls of oppression and resistance. As you look for those opportunities to make this world a better place, Find the grace and beauty rather than the faults and shortcomings with those with whom you live, work, play, and interact. Here's my wish for you. May your future endeavors be guided by courage and compassion, confidence and conviction. And I know each and every one of you has to have these qualities. And so you will in fact make the world a better place. On my desk at my office here at the college, I have an Apache prayer that I read for inspiration as I start my day of work. I offer this as another wish for you. May the sun bring you new energy by day. May the moon softly restore you by night. May the rain wash away your worries. May the breeze blow new strength into your being. May you walk gently through the world and know its beauty all the days of your life. At this time, I would like to ask all of our graduating students, family, and friends to please rise to be recognized for your enduring support for our graduates. Thank you for your support. Because I'm sure that each and every student here has had that support and wouldn't have made it without that support. At this time, I'd like to have all the faculty and staff from the college to please rise and be recognized for their efforts supporting and educating our graduates. is inspiring. Finally, to all of our graduates, you inspire me, and you inspire us all. 
Congratulations. And now to congratulate you, our Board of Trustees Chairperson, David Fackrell. Other than that concludes their ceremony. The words you'd like to hear most as I will be brief. <laughs> On behalf of all the Board of Trustees of Clinton Community College, the legislators from Clinton County, our guests that we have, Assemblyman Billy Jones, the Mayor of the City of Plattsburgh, Supervisor of the Town of Plattsburgh, these people come to these events and honestly this is one of their most enjoyable days of the year. We all volunteer our time and commit to this college for you. Not for you as an individual, but for what you are going to be able to do for our community. You see, the skills that these wonderful folks over here have instilled upon you, the education that they have given you, now you have to utilize to make our world a better place, to make our community a much more enjoyable place to live. We need your help. How many nursing students do we have here tonight? All right. I know it's all important and you all work really hard, but I want all the nursing students to take a good look at me, okay? <laughs> we all will need you at some point in our lives. And what you have done and what you choose to do will make a difference. We volunteer for this college. All of the people up here at this dais support the college and support your efforts because we know you will do wonderful things in our community and you will be able to make the change that our world needs, that everybody talks so much about, that takes a lot of work and a lot of effort to do. Given that, we thank you for choosing Click Community College. We hope that you enjoyed your two years that you had here. If there is anything that any of us can do, there's one thing you have to remember about Cliff Community College. Do we have any Eagles fans out there? And I mean the, the Rock Group Eagles. Anybody? Yeah. Don't be yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you, this is like Hotel California. You can check out anytime you want, but you can't leave. Okay. So stick around our community, help people out, and come back and help out the college when you can. It's always great to see our alumni come back. Uh, we, we love to have you back on the campus. So God bless you all. Have a wonderful, wonderful life. And please, go out and do good things. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Farrell. I now ask Dr. Denise Coughlin to come to the podium on behalf of the Faculty Council.
let's fully embrace this together. What we are really celebrating tonight is more than a document. It's, it's, it cannot be contained in a frame. We are celebrating you as goal setters, jugglers of competing priorities, and completers, finishers. Okay? Well, we don't minimize the diploma, we do not. It is a big deal. Still, we encourage you tonight and in the years to come to recognize, remember, and honor how you navigated, how you overcame the many challenges, obstacles, and threats that could have thwarted this moment. Okay? Our confidence, the confidence that I share with my peers in your future success, comes from our first-hand witness of how on the way to tonight, you kept your eye on the prize. Even when your personal plate is full, you had competing life life, you know, demands, and, and maybe even when you thought of quitting and you didn't. Well, this is when we saw your grit. In these times of stress and pressure, we took a deep breath on your behalf. We supported you to the best of our ability, and here you are. And as they say, you done good. Now, are you done? Are you really done? Probably not. We imagine that you have a vision for yourself that includes lifelong learning and other goals. This may include transfer to a four-year academic program, or you might walk through uh, work workforce goals. And it's highly likely that you have hopes and dreams, don't you, that go beyond a job and more schooling. We've got hopes and dreams. Now, according to the National Wellness Institute, each of us here, and, and really everyone in the room, each of us live our best lives when we understand that there are six dimensions of our well-being. And they are always demanding our attention. They always want us to pay attention and balance the needs between our social, occupational, spiritual, physical, intellectual, and emotional needs and well-being. These six dimensions, they are interconnected. They represent my wholeness, your wholeness. And, and sometimes they lead to those very competing things that may have thwarted our walk to this moment. Yet, you navigated them, knowingly or not. You persisted. Again. You're here, and you're done good. Now, as I wrap up my remarks, know that we, the teaching and non-teaching faculty of Hilton Community College, we are immensely proud of you. It has been our privilege to see you through the challenges and achievements. You did it. We know it. We know it wasn't easy. So, of course, we want you to celebrate tonight next couple weeks, rest up. And here are three suggestions, as I bring this to a close, that I'd like you to keep in mind when you're anticipating that next big goal, okay? Three suggestions. One, because I'm a teacher, because I'm a professor, I gotta, gotta sneak this in, please do become familiar with the six dimensions <laughs> of wellness. Go to the National Wellness Institute and look up those six dimensions because practicing intentional wellness will open a treasure chest of inspiration and strategies that will help you live your ultimate life. Please prioritize your self-care. Please, number one. Two, nurture relationships. Express gratitude your parents, your partners, your children, your friends, your neighbors, professional networks, network, network, network. Hey, and let's not forget maybe an elected official or two, okay? So, take no one for granted. Our lives flourish at the center of our human connection. Lastly, kick off your shoes. Not right now. Not just tonight's shoes. <laughs> Go barefoot, though at some point throughout your life and ground yourself in 
this fact. Times change, but your Clinton experience, because that's what this is, this is a Clinton experience. This isn't a Clinton campus, this isn't a Clinton really even, we are an experience. So always know that your Clinton Community College experience will serve you. Remember it fondly, even the tough times, because when you lean into your Clinton experience, you'll be reminded that you can do hard things. You did hard things, and you can do hard things again. And then, that's when you'll be able to look at your diploma and maybe see something that isn't obvious at first, an invisible fourth C, an invisible fourth C, an invisible letter C, embedded in your diploma. And what is that fourth C? Uh, President Wall has mentioned the C already in his remarks, confidence. Confidence. We, the teaching and non-teaching faculty at Clinton Community College, hope that you will always move forward, go forward with Clinton Community College confidence. We see it in you right now. We see it because we have invested our own confidence in you. You earned it. You own it. Now flex it. Move forward and enjoy every single second of your very bright life. Congratulations from all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Kaufman. I'd now like to think honor to recognize our salutatorian for the 23-24 class. I am proud to introduce Dylan Wood as our salutatorian who will graduate with a GPA of 3.96. Dylan will receive an associate in occupational studies in electrical, industrial, and commercial electrician. I'm generally humbled to be standing here today, and I want to be with you 
felt the outpouring and endless encouragement that comes from this campus community. I began a click community in a days, unsure of what I wanted to do with my life. Coming from a small, comfortable, shady central rural school, Clinton community became my stepping stone into the unknown. In this uneasy instance, and as and in this uneasy instance, and as an undisclosed English major, I took the advice of one of my favorite writers, Bray Bradbury. He said, and I quote, you've got to jump off the cliff and build your wings on the way down. So, I jumped off the cliff. And standing here today, it's one of the best decisions I've ever made. Falling from this cliff during the first semester made me switch from liberal arts to English as I rediscovered my love for writing and literature. During my last semester, I made the decision to pursue education and to return to my roots that were planted in the third grade when I wrote and illustrated many picture books to read to my class. The class hit was a series I wrote called Puppy Chow. Now, as an English education major at SUNY Plattsburgh, my wings seem nearly complete. I might have finally built my wings, but that doesn't mean I'm done jumping off the cliffs. Fellow graduates, you have all jumped off the cliff. And by sitting here, you have built your wings. Whether you further your education or enter the workforce, I hope your wings carry you far. Sitting here proves that anything is possible and you should be proud of how far you've come. Now, it's time to jump off yet another clip. I know. But this is going to be an exciting yet terrifying stage for our lives. During my last semester here, I had the pleasure of taking a direct study course in creative writing with Ben Freeling. He opened my eyes to all the interpretations you can find in English. I always felt confident that we worked well together that was until the very last class. At the end of the session, he turned to me and said, in this Carolina accent, I never want to see you again. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> this was terrifying. As I thought, we had a great semester working together. In actuality, he meant that he wanted me to move on from the comfort of playing community, go out into this big, scary world, and create new exciting experiences. Or, in Bradbury's terms, jump off of the cliff. So, fellow graduates, this is my message to you. Good luck, jump off the cliffs, fly far, but I never want to see any of you ever again. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amelia. I have to say that the messages were both for Amelia, um, and we really appreciate hearing from our students, so thank you very much. Now, if I could ask Mr. Stephen Frederick, Vice President for Institutional Advancement and Executive Director of the CCC Foundation, to come to the podium. Thank you, Jim. I have the hardest job, which is following our students' speakers. So Dylan, Amelia, very well done, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, and most importantly, the graduates of the class of 2024. It's an immense joy and pride that I extend a warm welcome on behalf of the Clinton Community College Alumni Association. Today marks a pivotal moment as you transition from members of the Student Association to the proud members of the Alumni Association. As you embark on this new chapter of your journey, it's important to recognize the significance of the Alumni Association, which serves as the official nexus for our expansive network of over 12,000 alumni. Our mission is clear, to foster lasting connections among our alumni while rallying support for the current and future Clinton students. Now among us today are individuals whose paths have been shaped by the Clinton experience. So watch this. To all the alumni who are present here today, whether in the audience, on the platform, including our honorary alum, please stand and be recognized. That's you, Billy.
Today, however, the spotlight shines brightly on the remarkable achievements of the class of 2024. Each of you arrived at Clinton with your unique story, and through dedication, perseverance, and a lot of grit, you have emerged as a catalyst for change. This transformative power of education has sculpted your character, equipped you with the tools to navigate the complexities of the world ahead. As you venture forth, remember that your journey is intertwined with the legacy of Clinton Community College. Whether you trans, uh, traverse distant lands or remain within the embrace of our local community, I implore you to cherish your alma mater and embrace your role as an active citizen. Your continued involvement not only enriches the lives of future students, but also sustains the intellectual vigor and social vibrancy of your beloved. In closing, I offer my heartfelt congratulations to each and every one of you. Welcome to the ranks of the CCC Alumni Association, where the bonds of fellowship endure for a lifetime. May your endeavors be marked by success, and may you forever carry the spirit of Clinton Community College in your hearts. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Mr. Frederick. I now ask board chair, Mr. David Fowler, to join me to present the 2024 Chancellor's Awards for Excellence winners. The honor provides assuming system-wide recognition for consistently superior professional achievement and encourages the ongoing pursuit of excellence. Through these awards, SUNY publicly proclaims its pride in the accomplishment and personal dedication of its instructional faculty, librarians, and staff across its 64 campuses and system administration. Award winners for this year, as I call your name, please join us at the podium. Dr. Fadi Helmondji. <laughs> Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Adjunct Instruction. Professor Julie Hansen, Chancellor's Award for Excellence in Teaching. Again, congratulations to both of our wonderful faculty members. Uh, and this is something that really is at the core of who we are at Clinton Community College. Teaching, instruction, support, that's what defines us. And again, it's, it's really a pleasure to be able to recognize our, our colleagues. Now at this time, we want to let you know that our college relations staff will be taking photos tonight. We have them located at two places to get the best pictures of, of each of you with your degree and receiving your degree while allowing the audience, faculty, and other students in the unobstructed view of the ceremony. The pictures will be taken first over there in front of our backdrop, and then over here as you walk over, there's a little mark on the floor here. I'll be standing graduating you and have a picture taken of you uh, with your diploma, because we hand you the diploma at that time, diploma case. The pictures then that are taken will be posted on our graduation page on our website for a free download. And students, remember to smile as you walk across the stage. If you hit this spot here and pause, and be sure to wait to have your picture taken. Mr. Favreau, the chairperson of the board, and I will present degrees to you.
Vice President Kerry Goyet will announce the candidates for the awarding of certificates and degrees. Would the candidates for degrees and certificates please rise? By virtue of the authority vested in me by the trustees of the State University of New York and trustees of Clinton Community College, and upon the recommendation of the faculty, I hereby confer upon you associate's degrees and certificates and grant you all the rights and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts, Humanities, and Social Science, Keaton Badger. <laughs> Emily M. Bernard. <laughs> Nathan P. Bond. Bailey Addison Carter. <laughs> Alessandra Pringle, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Amy Lynn Farnsworth, Cum Laude, Honors Program Scholar. Jacob Allen Flora. <laughs> Jenny McFadden. <laughs> Mackenzie Lawford, Tumada. Stephen Malskin. <laughs> Joshua D. Trombley, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Shady T. White, Summa Cum Laude. Associate of Science, Applied Psychology, Kimani Harley. <laughs> Shelby M. Harriman. <laughs> Nicole R. Prevost. Business Administration, Riley Houston. <laughs> Associate of Science, Business Administration, Sport Management, Tanner Carter. <laughs> Associate of Science, Liberal Arts, Math and Science, Artemis M. Gogis, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> 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 
Associate of Applied Science, Business Administration, Tinye Adams.
Associate of Occupational Studies, Industrial Commercial Electrician, Daniel Solomon Pinto. Certificate Alcohol and Substance Abuse Counseling, Sharon B. Sloan, Summa Cum Laude. Stephen A. Stanley. Brandy R. Williams. Grace M. Johnston. <laughs> Associate of Arts, Liberal Arts and Social Sciences, Jalen Drinkwine. <laughs> Associate of Applied Science, Computer Information Systems, Dakota Brink. Associate of Arts, Global Arts, Humanities and Social Science, Maria A. Castro, Maka Kumani. <laughs> Ralph Cordo. <laughs> Associate of Science, Business Administration, Rowan A. Doko. Student Trustee. <laughs> Associate of Occupational Studies, Industrial Commercial Electrician, Dylan Wood, Summa Cum Laude, Honors Program Scholar, Salutatorian. <laughs> Associate of Arts, English, Amelia H. Chapin, Summa Cum Laude, Valedictorian. Congratulations. 